Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Runner Gunner loadout for Foot Soldier. So the idea of this series is to give you guys some ideas of playstyles and perk combinations you can try with different characters that may give you an added challenge, help to get more vanquishes, give you some different strategies to try with your favourite character or share a new perspective on a character you are not so fond of. Also, please note that these classes are made with a character at master rank, meaning they have all the perks for the character unlocked, so some perks you might have to work up to. Fortunately, the perks for this particular class can be obtained fairly early on. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So this first loadout I have put together is called Runner Gunner and the idea behind this class is to make Foot Soldier the ultimate close quarters combat fighter. Now by default Foot Soldier is optimised for medium to close range combat but I would say he would usually fall on the more medium range simply because of his insane accuracy with both his primary weapon and ZPG as well as his rocket jump ability. You would usually use rocket jump to get into vantage points on roofs and hard to reach places which again puts you usually at mid range, not up close and personal on the front line. Now you could argue Foot Soldier isn't designed for super short range engagement as he only has 125 health etc, but with the perks I have selected Foot Soldier will have the ability to stay in the heat of the action without getting his butt kicked. So let's have a look at the perks for this loadout. So we have Rough Patch which costs 1 point, Low Life which is again 1 point, Fearless that costs 2 and finally Rapid Fire that costs 3 points. So we get 4 perks in total. Now first let's talk about Rapid Fire. So as you'd expect this perk increases the fire rate of Foot Soldier's primary weapon but it's important to note that it's not an overall increase. The speed of the projectile actually increases and increases depending on how long you hold the fire button for. So the idea behind using this perk for Runner Gunner is to try to take out enemies as quickly as possible and of course by having a faster fire rate it will increase the speed in which you can drop them. Excluding critical hits Foot Soldier can do 270 points of damage in one clip excluding critical hits so you can take down pretty much any plant. Another reason why this works so well for this loadout is that as your fire rate increases the accuracy of the weapon decreases but because we are sticking to close quarters combat this is less of a problem. Now the other three perks in this loadout are Rough Patch, Low Life and Fearless, all of which are health related perks. So the reason for choosing these goes back to what I said about earlier, which is that the problem with going into all the action with Foot Soldier is that he doesn't have that much health, so these perks look to reduce that. So firstly Fearless I find is extremely useful for these short engagements as this perk allows you to regenerate health while near multiple enemies. So when you get into your first firefight it is likely you will take a bit of damage but as you are up close where all the enemies are this perk will be getting maximum usage. You can take out one enemy, take cover for a couple of seconds if you have to, then go again. The second of these perks which is low life is a perk to help you out if you have come out of a firefight badly. It gives you health if you have vanquished an enemy whilst you are at low health. Both this and fearless work together and will hopefully get you back up to full health quickly. Finally, the Rough Patch perk respawns you with more health after you have suffered multiple vanquishes in a row. So if things start going south, this perk gives you another health boost to help you out in those sticky situations and hopefully enabling you to recover from being knocked off your horse. Again, all three of these perks work really well together and should allow you to stay in combat for longer periods of time. Now that we've talked about perks, we can now move on to strategies and playstyle. So the basic premise of this class is to be on the front line, be super aggressive and just get in the plant's faces. This is a bronze before brain class so you want to just go straight in there which includes tactics such as waiting outside of the plant's spawn room in turf takeover. You want to be up close and personal from the start. As the name of this class suggests, running and gunning is the main objective, catching enemies off guard when they are not expecting you, particularly at the start of the game. Make sure you don't aim down the sights with your gun, foot 
soldier's accuracy and the short range don't require it and it eats up precious milliseconds that you can use to take down enemies. Moving on to abilities, so rather than using rocket jump in the usual way which is to either escape combat or counter plants abilities such as nightcaps fung fu, try and use it in the opposite manner. Be aggressive with it, use it to literally get the jump on characters and use it to get into combat. Whilst you are going one on one with a character, use rocket jump to confuse your enemy and make you harder to hit. You can combine this strategy with both super stink cloud and zpg, throw down a stink cloud for distraction then use rocket jump to give you a height advantage and use zpg midair to do a ton of damage to unsuspecting plants. Moving on to Super Stink Cloud, you might usually use this ability to block off doorways or provide cover for your teammates, but with this loadout use it to flush enemies out from cover or just directly throw it at them to do damage. But don't forget, if you do need to recover health and have no cover, you can place the Super Stink Cloud down and use it as an invisibility cloak. If you stand inside the cloud, plants can't see you. The smoke lasts for 18 seconds as well, which is plenty of time for your health to recover. Overall, I think this is a very interesting class and whilst it is difficult to master and do well, if you do get good at running in and being super aggressive, it will pay off. You can get a ton of vanquishes and help your team because you are getting stuck into the action, helping out with defending or attacking objectives and all that good stuff. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this loadout in the comments below and let me know if there are any loadouts I should try. Other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.